What is going on everybody? It's Larry Beck with you. And today I wanna to talk to you about a couple products that were sent in um, that I'm gonna specifically use for the iPad. One is specifically made for the iPad. One is not, but it is very unique and I've been using it with the iPad. So we're gonna call it an iPad accessory. Let's jump right into this. Okay, first up, again, I say this all the time, but if you're a fan of the channel, you know that I rock with Nomad hardcore like they send me stuff every time i get a new device and i saw this on uh twitter and i reached out to them my guy uh chuck over there at nomad and said hey man can you send me one of these out because i am an ipad fiend and i'm always in search of the best case i've done some videos in the past of some cases that i really really like and that i really use a lot but let's just say i haven't put any of those except for the key the smart keypad with track the smart keyboard with trackpad case on my iPad Pro since this thing has come in. This is the iPad Pro Rugged Folio. Um, and like I said, any, anybody that knows me knows that I love Nomad, um, but the biggest thing that I love about them is the quality of their materials. And this is, again, Horween leather. And the minute I opened it up, like the FedEx envelope, I like opened it and you could smell the leather come out, uh, even through the box. And again, like this smells like just such good leather and it's gonna patine so nice. It's already got like some scuff marks on it from when I've been using it. It's just gonna look so, so good. And like I showed off, showed off in some of my other uh, cases is that I've been stickering them up with like all kinds of stickers and stuff. And this one I just want to leave so clean. Um, but who knows, there may end up being a sticker or something on here at some point, but um, it's got the magnetic turn on, turn off. Um, the inside's like a nice suede material. Um, it, it locks in really well. The case goes all the way around, obviously, except for your Apple Pencil area, so you're still able to keep that locked in uh, with the magnets and the iPad Pro and charging. Um, but you got good protection around the corners, which is something that a lot of cases don't do, uh, especially if they lock in magnetically. This one, quite honestly, this gave me a little bit of a hard time putting it in, um, so I'm not sure how great it's going to come out, but I have really... <laughs> Like the protection on this makes me feel a lot better about holding this and carrying it around, especially at work. I use my iPad a lot in my nine to five, taking notes. Uh, I do take pictures with it to make some notes on it just to make it easier. Sometimes I'll take my phone, take a picture and then edit it, you know, sketch it up on my iPad. But if I have my iPad there, I will take a picture with it. Um, I do, don't do it in public, but uh, yeah, I am, I will do that. So. Uh, again, this is this is just fantastic. Cutouts everywhere are great. I mean, there's, you know, it's Nomad. It's high quality. The leather is just amazing with it. So, uh, again, I'll leave a link for this down below. You guys need to check this out. They have it for the 11 inch as well. They also have just a case, so you don't have the folio. Um, so, if you're just looking for the case with the back leather and not the front, maybe you got like a temper glass screen protector on there. You're not worried about the front. I really enjoy this folio. Uh, feel and style for the iPad um, Pro. So again, there's a couple different options. I'll leave them down the link below, but you know, check out Nomad, uh, big fans of them. Okay, the box doesn't say anything, okay? Just black on black. Um, packaging on the inside doesn't have anything. This is, this is a mouse, okay? This, look at the size of this mouse. And I'll put some footage up next to my MX Master 3, but this is, this is it. This is, this is the mouse. And it's, I mean, I mean it's, it's palm sized to say the least, but we'll, let's talk about it real quick. For one, the color scheme on it is uh, very reminiscent of like Commodore 64, old school. Like it's got that beige and gray, just reminds me of old computer. Um, but it charges USB type C along the side. You have on the bottom, you have your little you know, pads and then you have your connect pairing button and then your on off switch. On the top, you have a little dedicated button up here, which quite honestly, I don't know what it does. Uh, I don't know if it's DPI or not. I haven't been, I've been using it with the iPad, so I don't think we really get those options. Um, and then you have a scroll wheel, of course, it works really well. And then a left and right click. So this is on uh, Kickstarter Indiegogo. So after this came in and I was using it for a little bit, they actually sent me an email and said, hey, we've decided not to manufacture this version of the mouse. 
Um, now they're still planning on doing some type of version like this. Now I don't know what they found or what they want to change. Maybe it's, maybe it's just a manufacturing thing, like they were able to cut down costs or something. I don't know, um, but they said they aren't doing this specific one anymore. So I asked them, I'm like, hey, well, do you want me to still do a video? If you're not making this product anymore, it doesn't really make sense for me to do a video even though I've been using it and really liked it and was planning on doing this video. Um, I actually had a different idea for this video, which I'll talk about in a few minutes, but we did it, but I didn't film it. I just wanted to test it out. But uh, yeah, so, so they're like, yeah, because we want to get your feedback on it and we don't mind you showing it off. Granted, I'm showing off something you guys can't get, at least this version. Let's, let's talk about this being more of a beta version. Uh, and there will be another version. They, they've said that they'll send me the new version once it comes out. We'll do a follow up to this, but this is what like, maybe like proof of concept or something like this. But like I said, I've been using it, it works really well. I have fairly large hands and it's, it's a little difficult for me to use, but I like pairing it with my iPad because it's just so small and I can just throw it in my bag. It's not even as big and, and really actually somewhat smaller in some aspects than my uh, AirPods Pro case. So like this could fit in my pocket if I really wanted it to, but I can throw it in my bag. I've been using this with the iPad Pro. It works really well. There's no lag or anything. I did use it on, was it my Mac? I've used it on my Mac um, just to try when I first got it in. It seemed like there was some kind of lag with the Bluetooth. Now Mac, in my opinion, has been bad with Bluetooth for a while when it comes to their external mice and stuff like that. So I don't know if that's a Mac thing or not. Now what I was talking about with, with my idea for this originally, uh, once I got it in and saw it, I thought it would be so funny um, to have Miles or myself game with this on a PC. And I actually had Miles do it. We hooked it up to his computer and he tried playing Fortnite with it. It did not go well. Um, but maybe we'll do that when the new version does come out. I'll do a video just showing Miles gaming with this. Um, yeah, so anyways, I showed this off a little while ago on my TikTok. I really, <laughs> I like using it. Uh, it definitely gets some looks like at work when I break it out, people are like, what in the heck is going on? I'm like, look, it's a little tiny mouse. I use it with my iPad Pro. I zip around, boom, 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 turn it off, throw it in my pocket, throw it in my bag, whatever and uh, it's not bulky, it's not intrusive, and it's just, it's just, it's cute, and it's, uh, it's interesting. So, uh, and it's completely functional, like it works really, really well. Um, like I said, they didn't really give me too many details on why they're not going forward with this version. Um, I trust that they found a reason that they want to pivot and go with an upgraded version of this. But like I said, if we look at this as the beta, I'm excited to see what they come out that they're actually gonna put to market. So make sure you subscribe so you guys don't miss when I get the updated version of this. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that stuff, all those links are down below. But I usually show this kind of stuff off. When I get something really cool like this, I like to show it off a little bit in advance if I don't have any kind of embargo or anything to where I can't. So just I'm just looking at the email that they originally sent because it's been a little while. This is the Kaku mouse. It's K-A-K-K-A-K-K-O-O. Um, but I remember one of the reasons why I had them send it out is because they were going to have a version that looked like this. And I thought this is the one they were going to send me, um, but it isn't. And maybe they had some, it's just color, so I can't imagine they're going to have licensing issues, but was like a Iron Man version with the yellow and like hot rod red looking. Um, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but yeah, so I like this a lot. And uh, like I said, uh, make sure you guys watch out for the upgraded version or whatever they decide to do in this, this vein. Um, I will definitely bring that to you when it comes in. So that's gonna be it for this one. I just wanna do a quick video, show you guys this awesome, uh, the rugged folio from Nomad for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, and then the Kaku mouse that I'm pairing with it um, that I think is completely awesome, completely dope, completely retro, and uh, 
Makes me feel like a giant every time I use it. So, I mean, benefits all the way around. That's gonna be it for this one. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. If you've got to subscribe, do that down below. Uh, leave me any, any comments you guys forgot for this uh, in the comment section. Um, there may be a lot of questions about this mouse. I don't know, but leave them down below. I'll get back to you guys right away with that. And uh, links for everything, again, down in the description below. I mean, not for the mouse, but for the Nomad stuff. That's it. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. I'm out.